and he kind of has a sore throat cold sort of thing but uh anyways we're gonna hop into this team it's basically a team where uh that we'd make if pace was irrelevant so in that we have uh Guaita, and he's a pretty good goalie from valencia he's spanish um center back our center center back is miranda he's basically here for chemistry purposes i know he's pretty fast but on the right we have alveol uh left we have uh lucio, lucio. Center defensive mids, take it away. Uh, yeah, Felipe Melo and Ben Yat we put in the center defensive mid spots. Ben Yat has like 99 free kicks on this regular card. He also has like 92 long shots. He's a beast for taking shots from anywhere. I definitely recommend him. Uh, center attacking mid, we do have Ronaldinho. And on the right, we have... Yao Queen. <laughs> yeah, and the Yao left, <laughs> we do have uh, Nene. He yeah. is a very, very well-rounded winger without pace, so yeah. Uh, up front, we decided to go with Diego Forlan. He's got five-star weak foot. He he obviously doesn't have pace, but that's the whole point of making the team. And then our other striker is uh, Fabiano, who was actually absolutely incredible for us. He got us uh, seven goals in three games, and you guys will see some ridiculous clips of him. This, yeah, you'll also see, like, games. in the next couple clips, you'll see Ronaldinho scoring a bunch of headers and goals. I don't know what happened. In it, the beginning, he scored yeah. quite a bit. It A lot of the... A lot of the goals wasn't because Ronaldinho has an amazing header. I mean, he doesn't. It's just that the ball ended up falling on his head every time, <laughs> which was actually pretty uh, pretty funny, we thought. Uh, but basically, yeah, these are all the goals. We got a ton of them in the three games that we played with this team. Yeah, surprisingly, we did. And when you make a team like this, like uh, whether you make a skill squad or a slow squad, you have to adjust your play style towards what kind of squad you did make. And... It kind of makes FIFA fun again because you're basically trying out a whole new game with a whole new tactic and a whole new way of playing, and it's so fun. Like, right there, you see, like, you don't expect a player like him to get to the ball because he has, like, what, 66 pace or something? Does he? Yeah, 68, I think. Yeah, it's not a fast player, and it's really hard to play, and uh, players like Ronaldinho do make it fun because he is slow, he has the skills, he, he's incredible. Like, as you'll see here, I think he skills out a couple players and uh finish it finishes it but um yeah it's very fun to make a squad like this and i definitely recommend trying it out if you ever get bored with fifa 13 yeah of course yeah, always try and change up what you're doing and it when you do change up your play style it makes you a better player in uh in with your regular teams it just adapts you to a bunch of different ways of playing which is good but check out this goal he has a bunch of nice his shooting is ridiculous his volleys are probably the best volleys i have used in this game they are yeah. absolutely crazy. Here's a uh, another header by Ronaldinho. It was uh, pretty insane right there. Just hit off the crossbar and then he nods it in. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, it, it was just the situation that was giving him all those chances. That and was, uh, that was a awesome. deflection from four-line shot. And the goal was given to Luis Fabiano, but whatever. He is a great player and we're not going to deny that. Um, there was a review on Foothead about Luis Fabiano that said he was the best Brazilian striker in the game. And I did not believe it until we tried him. And honestly, they they hailed his volleys. Like they said, it would not be uh, scalable on this game as a rating. It would be higher than 99. And, and it honestly, it felt like it. It certainly felt like it. But you guys will notice that about, I think, all the next goals, except for one by uh, Yao Kin, they're all from Luis Fabiano, and that is absolutely insane because this team was very well-rounded. They had a lot of good finishers. There's another one by him, and then you'll see another one. And a Maradona by Yao Keen pretty coming up pretty soon, but this is another one by Fabiano, I believe. Yeah, his shots are incredible. You would think uh, Forlan with the higher shooting stats would have a better shots, but he just didn't get into position as much as Luis Fabiano did and didn't get the right chances. But when Luis Fabiano did get into the positions... Like he did quite a bit. He took those shots perfectly. Here, yeah, you'll see some skill from Yao Keen and a perfect uh, far post finish. Um, and when you come up against pacier teams with a team like this, it does get kind of hard. But when you adapt your play style, it's definitely not something you can't overcome. Yeah, and definitely, you you guys kind of want to look, uh, when you're going low pace, you want to look for the guys that have better ball control. You want to look for the guys that you're going to be able to pass with, play the ball around with. And these guys could certainly do that. And overall, they were incredible. There's another beautiful volley by Fabiano, and we scored tons of them. I played a couple games recently, and he scored me about 
three volleys in a game. And yeah. it's just, it's ridiculous. Yeah, we made this team on my account. Uh, Josh here is going to go home and make it on his. And yeah, it's a quite fun team to use because it's a whole new play style, like I said. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you ever get bored with FIFA 13, be sure to make a team such as this one. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. My name is Jacob. And I'm Josh. Talk, peace. Peace. <laughs>